I was diagnosed June of 2017, I was 46. I was first diagnosed at 25, June the 12th, 2017. I was actually diagnosed July 18th, 2016. I was diagnosed with stage three triple negative breast cancer. I had gone in for the test results and felt confident that it was just gonna be a normal, abnormal uh, reading and uh, was told it was uh, breast cancer. As I was there on the table, I happened to be at MD Anderson. They did the ultrasound, they found the lump, called a surgeon in, did the biopsy right then and there. Three days later, I found out that I had breast cancer. And he was diagnosed at one and he's nine now. So he's been in remission for eight years. And he'll tell you I'm a cancer survivor. I am a cancer survivor. Whenever they came in the ER and told us that he had a mass on the side of his head, I can't even tell you how we felt. There is no word to describe it. I guess I was in shock. Kind of like the air is just knocked out of you and you can't breathe. It makes your heart drop. First you're like, how am I going to pay for this? What am I going to do? And then your faith really comes into play. I knew uh, God had chosen us to go through this journey and that there were going to be many blessings that came from this cancer diagnosis and so we just decided to embrace the journey. While, while you may not think you were chosen for that journey, you were chosen for that journey. But as a dad, it was really, there was nothing I could do to, to make him better. So it was a humbling experience for, for me. The biggest obstacle was, was just trying to navigate through, through foreign territory. But we, we did, and we were stronger for it. You know, everybody's got a story, and sometimes you wonder, well, what is my story? Um, whether you've gone through tragedy or a loss or something that's medical, something's going to come your way. And uh, I had dealt with um, a medical issue before, and this coming about really just my mode was what's the next step and how do we remove it and uh, how do we make sure it doesn't come back. You know, when you're in when you're in a situation like this. You do sometimes kind of feel alone. You kind of just feel lost. Like you're not sure what's going to happen or what's going to go, what's going on. And you do everything day in and day out as a hospital room. Always be there for one another, and um, and just know that there are other others out there who are going through the same thing that you're going through, and we all understand what you're going through. I've had a fabulous support network with my husband. Uh, my siblings, um, a lot of my friends have stepped up to the plate and have really truly become family members in this. They've uh, uh, lifted me in spirit and are always surrounding me with much love. That initial diagnosis is so scary and the treatment plan and not knowing exactly what is going to come from that is really overwhelming at times but you know you have a choice each day that you wake up you can choose to get bogged down by how you feel and all the side effects and the no hair and the nausea and all of those things but you also have a choice to wake up each day and find the small blessings of each day. You know, sometimes it's somebody saying hello to you on the elevator while you're on your way to the oncologist one more time that week. Um, you've got to look for those small blessings because they're all around you and that's what keeps you going every day is to take it one day at a time. Cherish every moment that you have. Fight the good fight and 
love living life. That's what I do. I have survivor sisters and people who are fighting this battle with me. All colors, all shapes and sizes, and we're here together and we're celebrating life. And that's the energy that you have to keep. You know, each day I wake up, I have another day to be here on earth. You know, God has me for a reason and I'm gonna do whatever I can. I'm, if I can help one person that might have this cancer or that is going to have it in the future, then I'm doing my job. Be around people that love and support you and celebrate you. Don't isolate yourself because isolating yourself is not gonna help you. It's a great time to celebrate. It's a great time to celebrate and be a survivor, whatever the stage is. We are one of the lucky families that are still here with us.